Congressman Andy Biggs joins us. The audience laughed, my orcas laughed. Why is it that the elites laugh at the concerns of ordinary, everyday people? Because they, they don't touch it, they don't see it. I mean, Mallorcas should see it, but, but the elites don't see it. Uh, they don't feel it. They don't consider literally hundreds of thousands of people coming across every month, um, the number of criminals, number of terrorists on the terrorist watch list, the amount of fentanyl that's coming in and killing people in America. They, they think that they're aloof and untouchable from it. And as long as they think that, uh, then it's just a big joke to them when it is really probably one of the, the most serious security threats in the U.S. today. If you take, if the Republicans take control of the House and or the Senate this November, could Mayorkas be impeached by a Republican Congress? Well, uh, I've already introduced articles to impeach. I would reintroduce and uh, I think he would be impeached in the House. I think what he's done is definitely high crimes and misdemeanor. He is ordering his ICE and his CBP to not enforce the law. Think about that, Stuart, to not enforce the law. And in other ways, he's helping them to deliberately, ordering them to deliberately avoid the law. Yeah. Uh, I want to bring up a different subject here. Uh, you voted against adding Sweden and Finland to NATO. Why are you against that? Uh, multiple reasons. First of all, do you really think Article 5 of NATO is more binding than, than uh, the U.S. Constitution? And the further we get involved in NATO, which by the way is a U.S.-led alliance, um, then the more responsibility we're going to have. Second of all, when you begin to look at it, as we expend more resources in NATO, um, how are we going to do with China? How do we do with uh, deterrence in China when we're stretched thin? We don't, contrary to what some of my colleagues think, we do not have unlimited amount of resources, even militarily. So those are really important issues. And the third thing is uh, the U.S. is basically funding NATO. And it looks to me, it's, since this is a European uh, centrist alliance that the U.S. leads and that was designed post-World War II and throughout the Cold War, We've left those behind. Maybe Europe should be in charge of its own alliance with the U.S. providing outside leadership instead of being so entrenched. That sounds like an America first argument. Yeah, I guess that's what I would say, Stuart, is uh, yeah. how, how thin do you want to stretch us? We're in places like Somalia. We've got s troops in Syria yet. Um, you know, how, how, how far can the U.S. be stretched? Yep. when we can't control our border and we can't even get baby formula in the U.S. today. Ah, fair point. Congressman Andy Biggs, thanks for joining us, sir. Appreciate it. Always. Thanks, Stuart. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.